Well, Baltimore City is also recognizing this Juneteenth holiday. Amy Kawada is checking in with some people who've gotten city grants as part of the holiday. Amy, good morning. Tell us a little more. Hey, Tim Cena, good morning. I'm here with Dr. Joanne Martin with the National Great Blacks in Wax Museum. We are here also at the Rawlings Conservatory. Beautiful, gorgeous morning out here. Thanks to Baltimore Rex and Parks. Can you tell us a little bit more about your organization on this Juneteenth holiday? Well, the museum um, is, will, will turn 40 years old this yeah. year. Um, we um, were founded in 1983 by my late husband, Dr. Elmer Martin, and, and me. Um, and Juneteenth gives us an opportunity to uh, present uh, a number of um, events, mm -hmm. um, but more than anything, um, to showcase a museum that is attempting to preserve um, our history and culture. And how important is it to, to have that, especially right here in Baltimore? We have so much history, so much culture here, and to share that with, you know, the world. It, it's very important, and uh, Baltimore d uh, does indeed have um, a rich history. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> we have wax figures of Perrin Mitchell wow. and um, Mother Elizabeth Lang, um, and you know, so just the whole idea of uh, a rich history of Baltimore and Maryland uh, and of the United States. And you guys are one of nine organizations that Baltimore Rex and Parks, you know, funded these grants to. How? What does that mean for your organization as you guys continue to move on throughout the year? throughout the future years and as you guys celebrate a milestone this year. It's important because it, it's a recognition mm -hmm. of, um, of our organization as um, essential to the, to the city. It's um, important because it's a recognition of um, small uh, organizations mm -hmm. and their importance to, um, to the city and that we get a chance to uh, reach out to yeah. the community in significant ways. Definitely very important stuff. And for our future generations who are learning, so you guys are also doing something really cool, kicking off this year, this 40th anniversary. What are you guys doing today? Today we're having um, a webinar, Ring Shout to Juneteenth, uh, African American Freedom Celebrations. Mm -hmm. So we get to um, put Juneteenth in the context mm -hmm. of Watch Night. For example, mm -hmm. um, churches uh, around the nation celebrated Watch Night in the same way that people do um, seeing in the new year. Mm -hmm. But when Abraham Lincoln signed the Emancipation Proclamation, he said that it would come into effect on January 1st. Right. So for um, ja um, New Year's Eve, uh, people um, were not only celebrating the coming of the new year, but the coming of freedom. Oh, wow. Really interesting stuff. So how can people get involved in this virtual event? Just go to your website? Um, they can go to our website uh, and register. We'll send them the link. And um, it, it will be very, very informative. And uh, this event is... Um, it was is within the context of our 40th anniversary. So the next event for us will be our Voices of History Street Fair next week. All right, some exciting stuff planned for this new year. Thank you so much, Dr. Martin, for joining us. And you know what? We have a lot more people to talk to. We have two more organizations, three more actually, who are all combined today. So we'll check back in in just a few minutes. We'll send it back to you guys for now. All right, Amy. Thank you so much.